And hello again. So today we're going to look at creating this sort of effect. Some of you may have seen. It's fairly simple to do. And this one here is on the edit page. And there's also a way of doing this on the fusion page, which I'll cover later on. If you want to jump over to that, uh, there will be bookmarks in the description. So I've got these four clips lined up here on the timeline. Um, I've given them names. It makes life a little bit easier. So what I'm going to do here is select these three clips, come across to the effects, the open effects and the resolve effects transform, and then select this video collage and just drop that in and apply it to all of them. So now we see we've got four squares. It's taken the top one and applied what will be our background into that there. So as you can see, we can get, create some quite nice effects very easily. So we come across here into the inspector and we'll pick the C and pick on the effects. And as you can see, we've got our video collage and our workflow here because we've using the background down here we actually want to create a tile then what we want to do is select which tile it is in this case we want it to be tile one which gives us this top left hand click on the sand create the tile make this tile 2 and then what we want to do is go to our skyline create the tile and tile 3 so there we have it now what we want to do is make this tile 3 across column 1 and column 2 that's quite simple to do. Come across into here and we will have our start column, column one, and our end column, column two. There we go. Quite nice. Now what we want to do is give, perhaps give it some animation. Apply this to all tiles and we've got to fly right we will keyframe those so at the beginning it's off then a few frame then then a few frames in it's in. So let's have a look and see how that goes. That will slide in quite nicely. There are other effects you can apply. Just expand those up. Okay, so what we want to do here is when the sea disappears here, we now want our sand to go to the two of those. So what we'll do is we will start on column two and end on column two. Switch that to column one. As you can see it's created its own keyframe. Move that through. There's a quick jump there where it fills in. So we might want to do give it some ease in and ease out. Give you something to play with. 
this example here, we have our background, we have our sand, our skyline, our sea. In this case, the background is at track four. So what we want to do, again, select all of those, bring in our video collage, and then just quickly, we've already seen this in the previous example, change that tile to tile. Two, so there we go. Tile three. There we have our three. If you've got more than, say, four video clips here, you just need to up the number of rows. You can stagger them around. You can round them, etc. Plenty of things to play with. Now what we're going to do is come across to the Fusion page. Come across here and I've brought in our background, skyline, sand and a dog. I've renamed all the media in so I know which one I'm looking at. So as you can see, these are all showing in here. Now what I want to do is add our video collage. Okay, so I've just added the video collage. It is our create background, two columns and two rows. All the effects are available and you saw on the edit page are available in here. So I'm now going to add another video collage. Right, so I've added the video collage to each of the media ends and set the tile, which we've seen before. So now what we want to do is merge these together. In this case, we're going to use the multi-merge. Otherwise we would have three different merge nodes. Let's find this a little bit neater and tidier. Connecting the background to the background of the multi-merge here. We output each of these to the layer. Okay. Basically done now. So if we want to put in some effects on the video, we will put them in here before the video collage. So let's just put in a camera shake. There we go, we see that's moving around. If we want to make the actual collage tile one shake what we'll do is apply that to after the collage there we go so as you can see now the whole thing is moving right the last thing we want to do here is if we're applying any other effects you might want to group this whole thing together. So command G will give us a group. Again, keeps the nodes all neat and tidy. And then just come in here and just rename it. If you want to go back in again, you can just double click on it, do whatever you need to do, and then you can close the group back down again. I hope someone found this useful. A quick look at the video collage in both the edit page and on the fusion page. Deliberately didn't cover everything again in the fusion page because we'd already covered it from the edit timeline of getting rid and making different sizes. 
next time. Thank you for watching.